It's so long. This is the meeting of the Upton Conservation Commission, and we have a con request to continue in red for 252 Milford Street. So and we already opened that one. So we're going to continue that until December 14th at 7.30. And Mary, we had a request for a certificate of compliance for 58 Chestnut Street. Yes, we did. Um, all right. Let me pull up the plans for that. Can you guys see this? Yes. yes. All right, so this um, project was for building an accessory barn and driveway. So part of the order of conditions was that there should be three bounds installed. And then this 30 foot no disturb zone. I'm not sure what it looked like beforehand, but one of the conditions was to mulch it, which they have done. And just pull out my report. Hey, Mary, I'm getting a weird echo. And I'm getting it on my, if I'm speaking to anybody else having this problem. Yeah, I think it's with everyone. Um, so if you're not speaking, maybe you could mute yourself. And I think that will help. So here's um, a picture of the garage, everything, or the barn, everything looks well built, driveways in place, um, grass is in and stable. And this is the mulched area. Looks like they even put in a few plantings, which I'm not sure whether they were already there or whether that it didn't seem like it was part of the order, but there's a few plantings. Um, the wetland bounds are in, they look great. Um, the only issue was that there's still silt fence up, which needs to be pulled down in a, it's in a couple of places. And I did talk to the homeowner or the previous owner, I'm not sure, I took to someone who assured me they would remove it this weekend. So my recommendation is that we issue the search of, or you know, vote to issue it, and then I'll check on the silt fence and then give them the certificate. Thank you, Mary. And we have Bob, I guess, with his hand up. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. I just want to add that the silt fencing has been removed. I read that tonight. Uh, but if you want to go out and take a look, but it is gone at this time. Great. Thank you. Okay, do we have any discussion? Hearing none, let's have a motion to issue a full certificate of compliance. So a member of the board, if you made that motion, please. I'll make a move. A second. Second. Okay, let's do a voice vote. Chris, I. Tom, I. Alan, I. David, I. Mike, I. Marcella, I. Sandy. Sandy, I. I had to find my screen again, sorry. Uh -huh. 
Okay, so that's a unanimous vote of the Conservation Commission to issue a certificate of compliance for the work at 58 Chestnut Street. So thank you, Mary, for that, Mary, for that information. Okay. And Mary will contact them when the certificate is correct. Ready. Okay, you. you're welcome. Now, um, Seven ten. We have to wait till seven ten for the community center project slash VFW update. So the other thing I just want to mention for the commission is that Governor's Landing um, continued their hearing until the fourteenth of December, and that would be at. Um, 745. And Chris, do you need to mention the ANRAD to 252 Milford Street is also continued? Yes, the ANRAD for 252 Milford Street was continued until the 14th at 730. So we're gonna have a busy night that night. And with our new items, we also had um, encouraging people to complete the house housing production plan, plan survey. And we're going to start working on the annual report at our next meeting. So that way we'll have it done well in advance. And we have three minutes. So is there anything else, Mary, that you would like to tell us about your administrative report? Okay. Um, I would just say that today I met with Dennis Westgate and John Johnson at 135 South Street to talk about, we had talked about this at the end of the summer, I believe, and they're finally ready to, to move on that soon. They would like to do it before things freeze and they're going to rent a small mini excavator which has rubber tracks that will kind of spread the weight over the soil surface and not dig it up so bad because they don't have any equipment that they feel would do a good job with it and they do want to keep the dirt on site um, and they're going to try to use it to make the sides of the channel and they're going to use waddles to create check dams and uh and they're going to have to be watching it after every rainstorm <laughs> to see how it does, I think is and they realize it's it's a little bit tenuous. So but that's where it stands with that. And I think. That's pretty well, there was uh, somebody on Shore Road um, removed two trees. Um, one was literally two, three feet away from his house and the other one was right near a patio and was diseased. And that was pretty much it for the administrative report. Administrative okay. report. Thank you. And how about the administrative report? Um, the only thing is the uh, the account balances, which is at the end of the packet. It wasn't a lot of change. We didn't. We don't have any bills for the, from this period. Um, there was just a few deposits. If you want, I can pull that up to look at. Okay, sure. Thank you. Great. Just give me a minute here to get to the end of the packet. Okay. And as you can see, I'm still, I haven't worked on finances at all this past two weeks. Still trying to figure out some of the accounts I'm not sure of, but I'm pretty confident on many of the others. Does anyone have questions about the accounting?
Thank you, Mary. And we should be getting a bill from the um, newspaper probably within the next week or so. Okay, so it's 710. So we had a continuation of the enforcement order for the community center project and the VFW update. So Mary, if you can take this away, please. All right, um, so we've met twice actually since um, since we last met as a commission and I was out there on Monday. They know it's not open. And let me just share my screen to show the pictures. All right, so um, yeah. the contractor AO did volunteer the use of his equipment and his, his um, they had one of his operators use it. And they went and, well, first of all, I believe Ed McKinney flattened the area so that the top area, so he was able to, to get in there with his equipment. And then they pulled back the dirt and this is what it looks like, you know, as of now. Um, you can see here, like this leaf area here and this rock, they're original, you know, they, they were not impacted by the fill. You can see that these trees still have a little bit of dirt around them. Um, and my guess is the fill is actually still about uh, maybe a foot or so thick on the slope, um, just from looking at the sides, but this is the slope, not the wetland. Um, this is looking at it from the other direction. Um, you can see the trees there. And then this is how they dealt with the area near the ball field. This is the stockpile of dirt that's been pulled out. And this is the, the flattened area. Um, they put some rocks in, which are just there for temporarily. All right, so I thought my impression was they did a good job of pulling the dirt back. What I would like to see is some maybe some hand digging now. I think they've done as much as possible that they can with the excavator because the excavator, what he was finding, he told me, you know, he's digging down and he's hitting like, you know, some brush that was there, you know, this is this has been kind of a dumping area. They dump things back here and he'd run into rocks. So instead of trying to, you know, dig out a lot around those things, he just made it smooth. And I think that's why it ended up being slightly higher than the area was before. I did ask that if they could go around these trees and, and pull away the soil um, from the trees, um, make some piles and then the excavator could pull it out. I am concerned that we'll lose the trees because, you know, if it's a foot thick on the roots, we probably will lose the trees. Um, I, hopefully they can pull the dirt back three or four feet. I'm not sure if that will save them. Um, they do, I think, I'm not sure if all of them are Norway maples, but at least a few of them are Norway maples. Um, I, so we, I already mentioned that to the VFW people, um, although we didn't come up with a timeline of when they're gonna get that done. Since I met with them, I went back and looked at the site and I realized there's a, at the very bottom here, there's still, there's a lot of little rocks and stuff. And I, I would kind of, and that the excavator couldn't really get, I would kind of like to see that, you know, put in piles too, that maybe the excavator could pull out, get in there with a rake or something. My sense is that the, it's still maybe, you know, three or four inches thick down here of debris. It's not very thick, but I don't, I don't think it was, they got all the way down to the original soil, although close. Um, so that's kind of how it stands there. Uh, the slope is steep. Um, it's not, you know, a gentle slope, but I, I think it may be in line with what was there. I mean, you can kind of see here a little bit what, 
you know, this is, you know, what was originally there that's covered the leaves. So uh, the commission, I, you know, one thing we talked about was, you know, whether or not a wetland scientist should be hired. I mean, that's still an option. Um, I feel like it, at this point, probably most of the impact is in buffer as opposed to wetland. They they did pull it out of the wetland, but the buffer zone certainly has been impacted. And uh, I'm just kind of wondering if how the commission wants to proceed. Um, I measured, you know, to the top of the slope here. Um, and if you take it horizontally, it's about 17 feet. So if we, you know, pull the line out and maybe ask them to maintain a 30 foot buffer um, and, you know, restore that area, you know, with some plantings and shrubs and then not, not cut that, that could be a way. And they are gonna submit an RDA with their plans for this area. And maybe we need to ask them to put bounds in along that whole edge, just so they know, you know, where they can go and where they can't go. Um, so that's kind of, I think the things we need, still need to decide is, you know, when the VFW people are, who's gonna go out and dig out around the trees and, and uh, if, you know, you guys wanna bring a wetland scientist into the situation. Oh, and the other thing is uh, Ed McKinney mentioned that he does want to get this whole slope hydro seeded, um, but he's just kind of waiting to hear what the status is and waiting for someone who have time to get the job done. So I don't know if anyone from uh, VFW um, wants to, to speak to the situation. Thank you, Mary, for the update. Yes, this is uh, Stephen Saucer from the VFW. Uh, we do plan on uh, digging out the trees, and if you want us to do the rocks, we'll move the rocks up to where the uh, excavator can get to it. Yeah, I think I think it would be good to get some of those rocks off the bottom. Mm -hmm. um, Any questions from the commission? So, so Mary, um, mm -hmm. so are, are you are you pretty satisfied that in terms of runoff and everything that the the major bulk of the fill that needed to get removed was removed? Or? Yeah, I think most of the most of the fill that was in the wetland is removed um i think it's quite likely that some of this for example here that the ground may have been lower um, but this was all buffer zone so the buffer zone certainly has been altered um and we are asking them to file a determination for that and and i think you know maybe as part of that determination well i think we should ask for some restoration in the buffer zone of plantings at least uh, I don't know that we're going to ask them to change the grades, although, I mean, that's something that because under under here, apparently is a, they buried a lot of brush and debris and garbage. And so I don't know that we want to ask them to to pull that all out. But, I mean, that's something that the commission needs to consider. But but in terms of the slope, you think it's it's OK for. I think it's OK. Yeah, I, I guess I, I'd be interested to see once they dig around the trees, you know what it actually looks like. Um, so the girls going out to dinner tomorrow and all the guys have to do Okay. So um so if if people can mute their audio if they're not at participating. Now, Mary, I had a question for you. Um for the winter time, would it be appropriate to have them place jute matting or something on the slope? Yeah, that would that would be a good idea, and and they are definitely going to hydro seed, you know, before winter. Um, but the jute mat would be a good addition. I agree; it is a steep slope. Um, although I I guess I I am a little concerned about the. I mean, this material is it's sand, pretty sandy. Um, so I'm not sure how well the seeding will take. I'm sure some will. It'll have to be like a something mint, you know, for right. sandy. And I think a jute mat would be and, appropriate, and a too. Mat. That's a great idea. 
Any other comments from the commission? This is Mike. I, I think the matting is a good idea and, and encouraged how much has been done here. Um, one thing about the jute mat, please uh, select a product that doesn't have uh, polypropylene uh, netting embedded in it. The netting can, can trap snakes, frogs, other small critters. Um, we generally try to avoid using that. You can get a matting that's 100% degradable without any um, polypropylene mesh. Do we have questions or comments from the audience? So, Mary, what's the next I, step? I do have a question. Um, yeah. Where Where is the um, material that was pulled out? Is it in a pile or has it been removed? Yeah, it is still in a pile here. The picture's really dark, but it's... Okay. You can see it in that picture. Yeah. Yeah, the pictures are dark and they're small. Yeah. To take a ride down. Thanks. Yeah. Is, I'm assuming that piles outside the buffer zone, Mary. Eh, it's probably, mostly, mostly. Yeah, it's maybe 75 feet or so. Okay. Yeah. It's going away. It's going to yeah. be brought. We're going to give it out to uh, anybody that wants to come get some. Refill. Mm -hmm, exactly. What's the time frame for people picking up free fill? I would guess that would be uh, Mary's decision. I'm not sure. <laughs> Um, well, we're going to do it as soon as possible. I think it would be good to have it out of there before everything freezes. All right. That can be done. Are there any properties that the town owns that could use the fill? I did talk to Ed McKinney. I don't know whether Ed's on, um, but there is a, a land stewardship commission has a property or has a parking lot on Grafton Road. Um, and Ed's already agreed to bring some there. So I just need to coordinate with him and figure out how much and go look at the area myself. Great. So does that stuff satisfy the conservation commissions? Questions. Well, I think so, if Mary's satisfied, then I'm satisfied. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I think um, I wish we knew more what was under there, but I think it, it, it wasn't, I think that the wetland has been cleaned out, in my opinion. Um, the hillside has been buried, but, you know, it was, a, it was a steep slope with, and you can see there's pieces of con or asphalt that are exposed in other part and branches, and you can see where he dug down to some branches and stuff. And I, just to, to ask him to clean that all out, I think, is more than we need to do. Well, if they're coming back with a request for determination of applicability, we could also um, put that in that determination, plan doing the plantings and some bounds. Because yes. if they're if they're plantings there, people would be less likely to try and dump stuff there. Yeah, and maybe we can have them set up an area, you know for brush or compost, you know, somewhere else in their property that's not next to the wetland. Right. Okay, so with that said, would we continue this hearing? I think, or, yeah, I think we, I'm not ready to lift the enforcement orders until everything's okay. stabilized, so okay. I would think we would continue this. Okay, how about if we continue it 
until our seven December the fourteenth meeting at seven o'clock. Does that sound acceptable? Yeah, and hopefully everything will. I think that would be a good goal to have all the extra, you know, fill out of the parking lot by then. And certainly the jute matting and hydro seed and everything else should be done well before then, hopefully. I would think. OK, well, thank you for the work you did on this. And thank you for everyone at the VFW and the AO company who got things moving. So we'll wait and see how everything goes along. And then we'll see you on 7 o'clock on the 14th. OK. OK, thank you. And now we have a request for determination at one Walker Drive for a septic replacement. So let me read the um, public notice and then we can get started. So we have notices hereby given in accordance with the Wetlands Protection Act and the Tom Upton Wetlands Protection Bylaw. The Upton Conservation Commission will hold the following public hearing on Wednesday, November 9th, 2022 at 7.15 p.m. Request for determination of applicability filed by Thomas Smart at Wen Walker Drive, Upton, Mass. to determine if the area depicted on the plans, map 025, parcel 035, is subject to the Wetlands Protection Bylaw or the Wetlands Protection Act or the Town of Upton Wetlands Protection Bylaw. Replacement of the septic system is proposed. All the interested parties are invited to attend. Copies of the application are available on the Commission's website, www.uptonma.gov backslash conservation dash commission. Christine Scott. So, um, what our, does our applicant or their engineers have to tell us about the project? Yeah, this is Bill Housing for the applicant from Land Planning Engineering. Yeah, we uh, we engineered a septic system repair to one Walker Drive. The existing system is failing. Um, Scott Heim delineated the wetlands probably about a month or so ago. And due to the area out there, we would have liked to have moved the system a little further away from the wetlands, but we have a lot of ledge and large boulders in the area. So with our soil testing, we looked at the existing conditions and determined it was best just to put the leaching field back where it was and has functioned since the 1970s, I believe. So most of the system would be underneath the existing parking lot. Um, we're proposing a siltation barrier of compost sock to contain any, any potential silt. And hopefully we're far enough away from those existing trees out there so as to not cause any damage to them. Um, it'll be a new leaching field tank distribution box. So essentially a whole new system. Uh, closest point of the leaching field is about 50 feet away from the, uh, the wetland. Um, parking lot will get repaved where we're under the parking lot and we'll probably do mulch uh, where it's in the existing area under the trees as grass is not growing there now I don't believe so it's kind of a mulched area. I think that's it in a nutshell. Okay thank you. Mary what's your review on the of the project? All right um, here's the plans. Yeah, so here's a, just a few photos. Um, uh, this is the parking lot where the existing system is, and I think it's, it will extend close to some of these trees. I was a little concerned about the trees, but hopefully they can stay back from them. And then behind the trees is the wetland. Uh, I had no issues with the wetland delineation. Um, my only other comment is um, they have been 
there's a, several places along in the buffer zone in the 30 foot no disturb where they're stockpiling branches and they may have very little other very not very many places to put it on the property but perhaps that we can figure out another place that's further away from the wetland for them to stockpile their branches and I think that was my only oh and the other my only other comment is there was some Japanese knotweed but not on the wetland side there and the other side just for the the applicant to be aware of it and um, I don't know whether they want to tackle it or not but hopefully it would stay contained it's between the the two, the two neighboring properties you know Mary in that picture of the brush is there some things that are not brush in the pile uh, like a concrete block maybe oh okay maybe that's what that is I think it was mostly brush um okay. some leaves maybe a little bit of leaves so there are several piles and they weren't you know, one was maybe 10 feet away from the wetland, so one was kind of close. This one's a little further back, okay. but uh, they definitely have been, you know, putting brush in the 30 foot no disturb zone. Okay, maybe that could be part of your determination to find a different spot for the brush and maybe yeah, move that. Yeah, we yeah, we can ask them to move it if we want to um, or just not continue to add to it either way. So any other questions from the commission? Any questions from the audience? So Mary, what would your recommendation be for the determination? Yeah, I just recommend to issue a, a, a negative determination um you know obviously they have their um, erosion controls so an erosion control inspection you know before and you know after the work is complete and i think that would be that would satisfy the that was that would you know make sure everything is done in compliance i would say okay does the applicant have any questions or the engineer yeah not at this time okay so would the engineer like to close this hearing? Absolutely. OK, we will close the hearing and we will have Mary issue the orders or the determination when, when within the 14 days. Um, so let's take a vote of the commission. Let's have a, a vote and a motion to close the hearing. So move. Have a second. 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 Okay, so let's do a voice vote. Chris, I. Tom, I. Alan, I. David, I. Sandy, I. Marcella, I. Mike, I. Okay, that's a unanimous vote of the commission. So you're all set, and Mary will contact you when the determination is ready for you to pick up. And then you can start at your own risk. Mm -hmm. Understood. But it usually is a 14 day waiting period. Yeah. OK, so all you right. are all set. Thank you. Yep. We appreciate that. Thank you very that. much. Thank You're you welcome. much. Have a good evening. You too. Thank you. Okay. OK, so that is the extent of our hearings tonight. So how about if we go to um, the website update. Website, so nothing really new, haven't really made any changes in the last two weeks that we've met. Okay. Does if anyone something have... super urgent, uh, send it over to me again, because most likely it uh, has gone over the waterfall with uh, the 500 emails I get a day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Does anyone have a comment or a question for Alan right now? Okay, so we will wait until someone emails you something. 
How about open space committee? Not much to report. We got the final invoice for the survey. Uh, came in at just over twenty nine thousand, so a thousand dollars under budget. Um, so actually, at this point, everything has been paid from the project account, except for any legal fees, and there's ten thousand dollars remaining for that. So I think we're good there. Um, I did reach out to the gentleman who offered asked us if we'd be interested in taking a gift of his two acres of wetlands on the south side of the VFW lot. Um, I've not heard back from him yet. That's it. Okay, thank you. How about land stewardship committee? Uh, hi. Um, hi, we've been working on the uh, Warren Brook parking area uh, and we're also getting ready to talk with um, some folks about uh, making some improvements in the parking area at Stephens. And uh, we'll be meeting with um, some folks from SVT for another walkthrough on the Mechanic Street property that's later this month. It's uh, Scheduled for the 28th at one o'clock, should anyone want to join us? And um, we will be continuing what we started last time, which was, uh, yeah, we, we didn't have time to get uh, around the whole property. So um, that's uh, what's going on with us. Okay. Marcel, would that be meeting at the um, Stephens parking lot for? Um, that's, that, that's probably the best place to meet. I think last time we met on Warren Street, but uh, I mean on Fowler, um, but um, I think that that's probably the best place. I'll suggest that. Okay, thank you. Now for ongoing items, the one question I had was, did we ever figure out how to verify what's being put in the Worcester TNG? Yes, uh, Bill sent me a link and it works really well. So we do have that. And so, Chris, would you like me to print out, you know, what I find on there on the date that for the ones that are published? Um, if you can just check for that, that would be great. And then just let me know if it's not there. OK, because usually if I tell them send them an email on Friday, then they say it will be there on Wednesday. So thank you, Mary. Does anyone else have anything on their other ongoing items? Okay, hearing nothing there. Um, my question would be, does, do any of the people, the audience have questions for us? Okay, hearing none, I just wanna remind people that we're not meeting on November 23rd because it's the day before Thanksgiving, so that would not be reasonable. So, hearing nothing else, do we have a motion to adjourn? Um, we do, but I want to ask Mike a question. Okay, go right hey, ahead. Mike, did, did you see the uh, Did you see the lunar eclipse? <laughs> we did from from uh, Kiwanis Beach. Yeah, no, I saw it too. It's actually pretty neat. I was, I went hunting that morning, oh. and uh, you could see it well from the power lines on Fowler. Oh, good thing we didn't go to Stephens to look at it. <laughs> we might have, we might have just startled you. No, no, it was, it was just I, I was sitting there looking. I thought it was pretty good. So anyway, I don't mean to keep anybody. I was just curious. So I make a motion to uh, end the meeting. <laughs> okay. Do we have a second? Second. And let's do a voice vote. Chris, I. Tom, I. Alan, I. Andy, I. David, I. Marcella, aye. Okay. Thank you, Mary. 
All right. Thank you, everybody. Excellent. Have a good Cheers. night and a good holiday.